Here we have a 69 plate Mercedes-Benz GLC 300D4 Matic AMG line Premium Plus. Now this vehicle comes with the 20 inch gloss black alloy wheels, all of which in excellent condition and unmarked with the gold brake calipers just behind. We also have the LED headlights, we have the metallic white exterior paintwork, Panamoka front grille with the black Mercedes badge in the center and there's a look at that front end. Coming around to the passenger side now, you find the second alloy wheel again in excellent condition just down there. We also have the side steps running along the bottom, colour coded door handles and door mirrors. We have the black trim around the windows with the privacy glass for the rear passengers. Up top, you find the glass sunroof that's currently on a tilt. It can also slide all the way open. There's a look as well at the third alloy wheel. And then coming around to the rear, you find front and rear parking sensors with 360 degree cameras. We also have the rear diffuser and a power operated tailgate. If you press the button here on the remote, you'll find the boot will open just like so. Now inside of here, you can see we have plenty of space for whatever you may need. We do have the partial shelf at the top. We have the storage net on the left hand side, along with 12 volt connectivity and hooks on either side. Coming back out, we also have a handle just up here along with a button. Press the button and the boot will close again like so. Coming back round to the driver's side you find the vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. Now if you take a look now at the interior, inside of the back you can see the full black leather seats with the grey stitching. We do have the foldable armrest in the centre and fixed ISO points as well. AMG floor mats we have the vents as well in the centre for the rear passengers. On the doors you find the wooden effect trim. We also have the Bermester sound system, electric windows as well. Now again at the front you'll also find the same leather seats. Both the front seats are electrically adjustable with the memory functions and they're also heated. Again, Bermester sound system, electric mirrors, electric windows with child lock for the rear. We then have the automatic lights down here, the multifunctional steering wheel as well. There's a look at the roof from the inside. Now let's take a seat inside. You'll also find the digital dashboard in front of us. If we put our foot on the brake, press the start button, then the vehicle will turn on. Let's turn the volume down. We do have paddle shifters on either side of the steering wheel. Cruise control and speedometer on the right. Now you can see we are free from any warning lights as well on the dashboard. We can change the display. So as you can see, we have the digital speedometer, we have the trip computer, navigation, radio, all these other features. You can also change the design, so if you go to classic, they can see it changes just like so. We then have the main infotainment screen in the centre, currently shown the sat nav, but also again has plenty of features you would have seen on the photos. But if we go through some of them, we do have the buttons down here. Click onto radio, you find the radio stations, media options, Bluetooth phone connectivity as well. On the main menu, we can scroll through all the other features quickly. So if you go on to the ambient lighting just here, you'll find we have plenty of colours just here that you can go through. We also have the media options. We then have the apps just here with the smartphone for the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Moving further down, we have the vents. We also have the dual zone climate control and the ice cold air conditioning. We have the ambient lighting inside of the vents just there. If any of these lights or screens are flickering, it's just a camera, not flickering in real life. Wooden effect trim in the centre as well. Inside of here we have the cup holders, wireless phone charging and Type-C USB port. Touchpad for the screen along with the drive mode selector so you can flick through all the different drive modes quickly just like so. If you put the car into reverse you'll also find the reversing camera with the 360 view on the right. If you put it back into drive it changes to the front facing camera but we can also go through all the individual cameras and you can see they all work as you'd expect them to. So I've put it back into park though, and then that is all that I'm going to show you guys today. If you'd like to find out more, please check out the website or get in contact. This vehicle comes with free nationwide delivery. Thank you for watching. Video test drive of this Mercedes-Benz GLC 300D Formatic G Line Premium Plus. Now the purpose of this video test drive is to show the vehicle that drives as you expect it to. As you can see, I'm allowed to fire up the steering wheel to keep it in a straight line, not being enough to the left or to the right hand side and staying in the straight of this road. Now we do have the multifunctional steering wheel which has the paddle shifters on either side, so if you want to set the car into a manual mode, you can simply tap all the paddles to change gear. We have the volume button and phone connectivities on the left, along with the speed to and the cruise control buttons on the right. Digital dashboard in front of us as well, which we can share with different displays and different features that you would have seen in the 
you walk around the video and also on the photos. You have the premium Bems sound system, which really does sound incredible. But if you do listen carefully as well for the video test drive, you'll also notice it'll be free from any unwanted knocks or bangs. Now we have plenty more features on the interior of the vehicle. We have the glass sunroof, which just up there. Full leather seats as well, really comfortable. You can easily do two, three, or even 400 miles in this vehicle and still get out feeling fresh. Both front seats being heated, perfect for them in cold winter mornings. We also have the wooden effect trim running across the doors and also here in the centre. Really makes the interior a nice place to be. We then have the main entertainment screen as well, I've currently shown the sat nav, but has plenty more features again you would have seen on the photos. We also have the automatic gearbox, which is really smooth through all the gears. Now we're about to take a right hand turn, so we've got our right hand indicator on. We started to slow down, and we had to wait for the traffic to pass before we can make the right hand turn onto the Joshua Park. So let's wait for these cars to go past. And then we take the right hand turn now onto the industrial park and I will perform an emergency stop now in three, two and one. Add on to the brakes, put the car into reverse, put the reverse camera and the 360 view on the screen, back into a drive, change to the front facing camera with no issues whatsoever. Now if this video hasn't answered all your questions, then please feel free to get in contact with our sales team where they can answer all and answer questions along with running for some inquiries of you. That's all for me today though. Cheers.